Good morning, y'all. Hard to eat breakfast and all that. I'm trying to work on the uh picking winners for my groups. And this little guy here, he's acting all innocent now. But he keeps getting up under me. Right up under me. While I'm trying to click on the button. That's what you're doing, ain't it? That's what you're doing. Lucky. What you aggravating me for today, huh? Why are you bugging me? Hmm? What's wrong with you? What's wrong? Why don't you want to be in your chair, huh? Huh? You look at your grinny face. Yeah. That's what you keep doing. There's something on your foot. Is something wrong with your foot, huh? Is something wrong with your foot? That's what he's doing. Just right here. And if I stop petting him, try to work, then he's going to get up. Yeah. <laughs> Dog, you're so silly. What are you doing? Where'd you go? Anyway, I'm trying to get this done. <laughs> I'm being very distracted. <laughs> okay, I am finally... In my sewing room, even though it's about 11 o'clock. Uh, it is raining. And the temperature has dropped. It is a gross, gross day outside. But, well, that's going to work on personal stuff in the morning and business stuff in the evening. But, since I was trying to pick winners in my groups, that's kind of a business thing, I guess. This morning, and my internet has decided to go out. Probably... Probably because of the rain, I now have to work on something else. And since I already have this stuff out, I'm going to work on these squares. So these are the first row of strips. So you got January, February, and March, April of last year. Um, that's good around here. So I've got this many more first <laughs> strips to do. That is the next one. So that's what I'm going to work on. I need to get these done. So I'll work on these until it's time to go. Um, and I'll work on other stuff this evening. Still loving my new machine. Yay! I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Okay. All the first rows are done. Woo! So I'm going to put this away for now. And then... Uh, when I get home after class, I will be working on something else. Probably gonna put this paper pattern together and then, hmm, I may finish. Let me grab this real quick. This top up. Um, because I've got to cut some more pieces for the banding. Because mine were not long enough. And I really don't have that much left to do to finish this. So I'm going to try to finish this up this afternoon. And of course, there will be crochet. And if I get anything fun in the mail, I'll show it, share it with you. I have something else I want to show y'all too. Some crochet work I've been doing. So I've got to go get ready for my afternoon class. And take my dogs out because they really want to go. Which is always fun in the rain. So <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. Hello. Okay, I just got back from my afternoon class. Y'all, it's still raining. It is cold. And it's just gross. And I wish I didn't have to go outside. <laughs> so, I was going to sew this afternoon. But I think I just want to put on my pajamas. And sit on the couch and crochet or knit. Because uh, it's just that kind of day, right? So, that's what I'm going to do. I haven't even changed. That's my work. Stuff. It's so sparkly on camera. Sparkly. Uh, I a wet spot on my. I don't care what kind of umbrella you got. It just you're gonna get wet getting in the car. <laughs> so, yeah. But I was gonna show you some things I got in the mail, and I'll probably add on to this a bit before I do finalize it and upload it. I'm hoping my internet is working. I haven't checked it since I got home was not working earlier which means I haven't been able to finish picking winners for my groups because I like to do that on the computer not my little phone it's hard to see <laughs> so 
Uh, hopefully that'll be ready and I'll get that done. I'll give me something to eat and I'm just gonna snuggle in on the couch with my pooches. And uh, I probably got, they they have to go out, so I'm not gonna even bother changing since I've already gotten wet until I take them out again. To taking them out one at a time when it's raining because I have to carry the umbrella and I can't carry two dogs on a leash. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do this before I do that. So, um, the first thing is I actually got this a couple week or so ago. Hmm, I can't remember. But this is a uh, from Barocco. I hope I'm saying that right. This is called a Barocco yarn tasting. So, um, it's some of their new yarns coming out in spring, summer this year. And I actually uh, signed up for it and I got, I was able to get it. So, I'm very excited about that. Uh, so, I thought I'd share that with you. I'm just looking through this paperwork. Yeah, they have some patterns made in the new yarns to show in this little book. Um. There's some fun patterns in here but this is the little look it's a yarn tasting it's a snack yarn snack i got this little i think this is a sticker this little sheepy sticker isn't that cute i've never done this before i think it's cute but i will i do intend on doing a whole blog post and everything about it possibly a video too i don't know but um so i'll talk more about them there's some Pretty. I really love the colors. I'm not going to go over the types in this video. I'm going to go dedicate something to it, but look at the... I really like... Ooh, look at this. This is quite pretty. Love the colors down in there. And then this. Ooh, fun stuff. Can't wait to try them out. I think what I'm going to do is do my little... Because I haven't finished the squares for the whatever I'm going to make with it in there where I do half knit, half crochet. Um, and maybe I'll go over how to do that if anybody's interested. I usually uh, knit and then I change over to crochet and it's all one piece. Um, so yeah, I love the fun colors in this. So I want to do a whole full thing on it. So that'll be coming up. Fun. And then... I actually ordered, <laughs> this is from Hershner's, y'all, because, you know, the little Red Heart Omegarumi things that came out at one time. There's a few of them. I have a couple over there I haven't ever used. I got them on clearance somewhere. Um, and they had some fun little patterns. And I kept seeing this, people making a chicken one. I had never seen the chicken one before. I was like, where are they getting this chicken one from? Well, they had a whole slew of them that are new that I could only find on Hershner's. It wasn't even on Yarn Inspiration, which is the home of Red Heart currently. Uh, so I don't know what the deal is with that, but I, I put them in my cart and I was thinking about it. And then the, I got a 20% off coupon and so I decided to use it. And then I realized they had the retro shipping like the day after I ordered this. <laughs> and it probably would save me a couple more bucks, but anyway. Let's take a look. I got a bunch of them now because I got every one that I liked. And I do intend on making these. But they had some fun ones that I hadn't seen before. And they had some fun. Uh, they, they have the variegated yarn in some of them. So this is a giraffe. These look bigger than the ones I had. I have already. Um, so you get. Each skein is supposed to make two. So. That's how it's supposed to work. So, I got the giraffe. This is a fun one. I got a chameleon. Isn't that fun? I got a dragon. This is busted, but little dragons, little fat dragons. Oh, yeah. I got. This is actually a ladybug and a caterpillar all in one. Isn't that cool? That's pretty neat. Um, I got a seahorse. I really love the fun variegated yarn added in there. I got, and this one, some of them have like a faux fur 
in it now too. So this is a fox, although this looks like a strange bearded bear, not a fox. But see the center is like a fun fur. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah. And then this one has the fur too. This is an owl. I like that one. I think all these are crochet. So I wonder how before you could do knit or crochet. I think all of these are crochet. A donut. Look, you can make a donut and some little donut holes. How cute is that? So cute. I love it. <laughs> this is a monster. It has some little furs in it too. <laughs> so I haven't seen these anywhere but at Hershner's. I was like, who, where are these people getting these chicken ones? I haven't seen the chicken ones. This is a snail. Some of these labels are busted open. <laughs> this one I have seen before, but I didn't have it. And I like it. It's the flamingo. That is some pink yarn. Uh, this one has the fur too. It's a koala. Look, well, it's a koala and a baby koala is what it looks like. <laughs> I told y'all I got a bunch of them. I didn't even get all of the ones. This one is Santa, but you make Santa and a a, re, a, a reindeer, a tree. See, on Hershner's website, it only told what it was. It didn't show the picture side of the label on any of them, which is highly annoying. Y'all hold on just a second. Nose. It's raining and cold. But, so, I didn't even get to see what it was going to be until I got them, because it just said... Like it was a fox or it was a donut. So these are cute. I like that this is a Santa and a tree. Oh. And here's the chicken. The chicken one. Ah. <laughs> okay, I got three more. <laughs> a sloth. How cute is that? Hey, this has got some more fur on it. This is a hedgehog. Look, it's got a cute little scarf and hat. And lastly, this is one I had seen before too, but I didn't have it. It's the cactus. So, look at there. I got all these off of Hershner. I think they were, some were $2.99, some were $3.99. Not sure why. Probably the fur ones, maybe. I don't know. I can't remember. Like I said, I haven't seen all of these. The, the cactus and the flamingo I've seen before. But all these other ones I had never seen before. And that was the only place I could find them. Was on Hershner's. Um, but I think they'll be so fun to make. Let's see. No, the cactus and flamingo were the ones that were done. <laughs> the rest of them were two ninety nine. That's weird. <laughs> anyway... If you're looking for something, I thought that was fun. You know, they're not a affiliate of mine or anything, but I think these are really cool. <coughs> oh. I'm going to have to cut that out. <laughs> okay, so I just sneezed, but I'm going to cut that out. I couldn't, I couldn't pause the camera in time <laughs> to catch it. Oh, that's rain. It's got my sinuses all crazy. But these are fun. I'm looking forward to making these. I like that. I really like that some of these are like, you know, you get a, a little baby one or and some have little furry ones. You get two different characters. I like the donut with the donut holes. That's just cute. And the tree and the Santa. I really like these. I think these are fun. This yarn feels really soft too. So I'm looking forward to trying it out and seeing how it turns out. I have a bunch of them. <laughs> there were more. There's more of them too than this. I just put out my favorite ones, which was a lot. And so I also have, I think I have the unicorn and the hamburger one over there. Like I said, I got those off of clearance. This is the only reason I bought them. But exciting. So I'm just going to take my dogs out. But I'm going to put on my PJs, and I'm going to sit and crochet, and I will see y'all in a bit before I wrap this up, okay?
Good morning. It is Wednesday, March 3rd. So, I um, got me some cheese eggs today and some toasts with homemade grape jelly from my dad's grape vine. <clears throat> I uh, hardly ever have toasts. As a matter of fact, I have to keep my bread in the freezer because it lasts me about a month or better. <laughs> I like the Dave's Killer Bread. You can get these smaller slices too, so... Um, yeah, so that's, I'm about to eat my breakfast, then I'm going to take a shower, as usual, and then I'm going to get busy doing stuff, and hopefully, today, I'll be able to post a video, because my internet was out yesterday, it seems to be out again today, which means I'm going to have to call them, I'm sure it has something to do with the weather we had yesterday, but we'll see, so I'll talk to y'all later. So, I am in my make a room if you hear some weird noise my dog's over there licking something um anyway the, this is my issue with this top the sleeve when i sewed this on you see i have a about one inch it's one inch too long um but this is at the outside edge and this up here where i would join it um I'd be able to pull to adjust or however um so I think I'm gonna just cut off this excess but I think I want to redo this whole thing the way they have this done as you sew this and turn it inside out and then you attach it so it leaves this open seam which I would have to finish and then tack down or something or put something over the top of it because this you can't I can't leave it I mean I have a serger I could serge it but I just don't like the way they did this. So I'm thinking I might redo the whole thing. Like just do an encased version of it. Um, I don't know why they did it this way. Although some of these patterns in by, uh, the the big four pattern makers. They, they do things like that a lot of times. But yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, just to keep from having to cut recut these pieces. Although that doesn't mean I'm going to have to take these stitches out, which is going to take a minute because um, they're tiny and they're in something that frays. So I just have to be careful. So we shall see how it goes. <laughs> and I'll be back and, and show you what it looks like when I get done. Okay, I have fixed this side. Um, so I started at this end. What I did was go ahead and hem this. Since this already had a hem, and I didn't want to take all of that out. So I started here. I did go over this with a serger after I hemmed it because to keep from having so much of this, which there's still some there. Uh, and so then when I got to the other end, once I saw what the excess was, I trimmed it off even, and then I just made a hem over it. Which meant I couldn't serge but to this point. And I need this to fold this way. So I can fold this over. And then stitch it down. So I'm going to snip it here. I'm not going to do this on camera because I can't hold this and do that. And then get it ironed over. And then I'll fold this in half. Tuck under this. And stitch it down. And it just finishes off that a lot more nicely okay so i'll be back and show you what it looks like when i get done doing that okay i've hit another snag i was pinning from this direction by the way i'm using these little fine pins for this uh so they don't snag this fabric uh and i realized that this whole end was crooked <laughs> so this is still not correct this is starting to really uh, get on my nerves, y'all. So I've got to redo this end again before I can do anything else. So that's that's just so much fun. This this has become very irritating. I just want to be done with this. So let's try one more time, shall we? <laughs> okay, I have finally finished my sleeve. <laughs> one sleeve. I've, Worked out all the kinks on this sleeve so the other one should go faster. Um, 
this end is not the greatest finish because I chose to keep the hem I already had in it. Which I will still do the same on the other one just so they match because I had white top thread. And I don't have any more of that because um, I'm using like a polyester tri blend for this particular fabric. So there is my top stitch. This side is a little twisted, but this is going to be a flowy shirt. Nobody will notice. And it's finished on both sides. So, yeah. I did sew this from the top, and the little, even though the little pins were on the bottom. And I sewed it. This side was facing the inside of my machine. And uh, so I could reach under and pull the pins out. I actually used some tweezers. Let's see. They're over here. These. To pull them out. <laughs> That's what I do. So another sleeve and hopefully get this finished before I have to go to class so let's see if I do okay the shirt saga continues <laughs> I realized can you see the difference here yeah yeah me thinking that this fabric didn't have a front and back it does and I sewed this one on backwards and I had already surged and everything before I realized that so it's just gonna stay like that uh, some people may notice it some people may not I don't care the sleeves are done the other issue I had with this one, even though I trimmed up the ends before I sewed it, I had to put a little pleat here because this was not lining up exactly right. It was off by just a teeny bit still. So I just put a pleat in here. And there we go. It's on the other side of the shirt. I don't care. <laughs> I will not have time to finish this before as I got to go ahead and take my dogs out and start getting ready for work. So I'll have to work on this when I come back. So... We shall see if we get a finished shirt today. All right. Good. Later morning. <laughs> it's probably closing in on 11 o'clock by now. But I just finished taping up this PDF pattern. And I'll show you kind of how, I mean, it gets pretty big. Um, since there's only two pieces and they're pretty large pieces, I had to fold it up at the top to get everything in. Um, a lot of times if I'm putting together one that has several pieces that are smaller or if I get one piece put together I'll go ahead and cut it out and then put the rest of it together it just depends so that is what it looks like and now I'm going to cut out the pieces so that I can store them more easily and then I'm going to be actually cutting some fabric for the mini maker club so I can't show you all that but that's what I'm going to be doing today and I did have I'll have to get that out but I had a couple things I wanted to show you and my internet finally came on at about 8 o'clock yesterday, so too late to post yesterday's vlog. I kind of gave up on my shirt. I put it back in its bag and hung it back up because um, it was getting on my nerves. <laughs> so I needed to just put it away for a while again, unfortunately. So I'll finish it eventually, but right now I'm going to cut out this pattern and then get busy cutting fabric. All right. Hey, y'all. I'm a... Uh go do this last little bit real quick and then get my uh, get everything edited so I can get it uploaded tonight so I can actually have a vlog for the past three days since my internet decided to be out for a little over a day actually so yay I have been recording stuff though so it'll just be mushed together for Thursday and then I'll do Friday Saturday Sunday I just want to show you these things that I know I hadn't shown them to y'all yet so I ordered more painting kits i haven't even finished the one that i have over there that i painted like a little bit of so i'll get to them but this i really love this uh so i went ahead and got it i can see it framed hanging on my wall so yeah this image here is a painting kit um super love the butterflies and everything uh it comes with the the paint and stuff and the little Canvasy type mat. I'm way up out of frame, y'all. I'm trying not to pull my chair over here. It's got stuff all up in it. So, all up in it. And then I saw this one because they had a what is it? Not a flash shell. What is it? Lightning deal on another painting I wanted that's similar to the cow one I have. But then I noticed that they had this, which is a four pack of them which made them way cheaper per painting, even though I got a repeat of the cow. 
I'll just put that in something to give away, I guess. But I got the owl that I wanted because sometimes that one's not even available. And there's the cow again, which I'll just give this to somebody. And hold on, I'm getting mixed up. There was a deer, which I had seen before that I liked. Um, and this one I had never seen anywhere separate to a bear. So I think I got this set for 20 bucks, which made them $5 a piece. Because they were, even on the lightning deal, I think they were $8. It was $8 for the one. So, yeah, that was pretty good. If they still have them, I'll put a link down below for y'all. So, I just want to show y'all that. I did get fabric cut out and looking at it. This is fabric. This fabric is for the Maker Club. Which I'm excited about. But, yeah, I'm going to be busy for the rest of the week. Cutting and sewing and all that great stuff. So, I got to get done with getting this edited and uh, processing while I cook me some supper real quick. I've got a virtual Mary Kay thing this evening at 8.30. So, I'm trying to get all that done before it's time. So, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.